What's up homies, Alanip here. Welcome to today's video and I wanted to show you before the uh, video starts I wanted to show you I installed some cool characters in this one. This is Spider-Man suit back from Spider-Man 2 2004 the film you know like um, kind of like the old Spider-Man film in a way because you know, that's like Wow, that's like 10 years ago. Holy shit. And you can see this one's like an injured one. So it looks really, really cool. And our enemy is Scorpion. But I wanted to show you before we actually fight him. I was just going to um, spawn him as a bodyguard. And show you how actually awesome he looks. Because um, it's kind of hard to see really. Appreciate how really awesome the skin looks. Uh, when you're actually like fighting him. But look how creepy this motherfucker looks right here. Tell me that's not creepy looking Scorpion. Like, what the hell? Just look at him. Like, he's got a freaking tail. And he's, oh, man, look at him. He's got, like, a big claw hand and stuff. That, that's that. Look, look at him. Proper freaked me out. I was like, whoa, this is actually really, really, really nice Scorpion model. Like, really nicely done. I'm going to put him up against, like, you know, like, Scorpion versus Hulk and all that stuff. But today, I thought we'd do old school Spider-Man 2014. Um, he's kind of injured as well, so you know he's been fighting and stuff. So it's really, really cool. But let's beat this guy's ass because he's not the real scorpion, and you can easily beat him. So we need to spawn him in um, as a enemy, as a Hulk enemy kind of thing. So we'll do that. I'm just gonna freaking web swing over to where them higher buildings are um, because um, you know um, you can kind of web swing a lot better when you're there that's why i normally have all my spider-man videos in in the middle of this because there's all these high buildings that you can like you know do your web swinging at so that's that's why i fight fight in this city we built this city on rock and roll don't know what that's got to do with anything but yeah built it on rock and roll so let's spawn in uh there we go spawn in good old uh scorpio or not and he is just behind us fighting enemies. Okay, cool. God damn, I do like this Spider-Man suit. And uh, Scorpion just looks sick. Looks so, so freaking good. Oh, god damn. God damn. Oh! Hey. Hey, Scorpion. Who's going? Ooh. Did he just fall over? Are you okay, buddy? Did you slip? Did you slip on a banana? <clears throat> I know how you Scorpions are. Look at him! He looks so creepy. He looks like some kind of alien, you know, just coming from outer space or something. God damn. I actually don't know a lot about Scorpion. Like, I'd like to think that I know, like, Spider-Man universe. I know somewhat decent. But Scorpion? Like, I, he hasn't been used in a film in ages or, or you know, like... He's a, he's a really creepy kind of enemy, isn't he? Like, for example... In the new Amazing Spider-Man films, like they they're using, um, they used a few new enemies, but not really that many. So I'd like to see them use Scorpion because he's just, like, just really, really creepy. Maybe they'll use him in a new film. Who knows? Um, we did see a lot of like, um, you know, kind of like little uh, hints. Yeah, that's that's a good word. Little hints at, at what characters they're going to use in the future. Um, so maybe. Who knows? I mean, Scorpion would be a really, really cool character, I think. Um, he's probably gonna, you know, somehow inject himself with something and become Scorpion, you know, like, a bit like Spider-Man, but, you know, the Scorpion equal, like, you know, Scorpion will sting him or some shit. That's probably what's gonna happen if, if the film does happen. You know, the third one will obviously happen. Amazing Spider-Man 3 will happen 100%. Because, um, you know, they left it, so it will happen. Um, I'm not doubting that at all. So I'm quite excited. I did like the second one. Did you guys see the second one? I did like it. It was really, really cool. Um, spoiler alert here. So if you haven't seen it, don't listen to what I'm going to say here because spoiler alert. Um, I can't believe they killed. Um, they killed the uh, freaking the the uh, you know the first love interest of Peter Parker. Really, really crazy. I I I really didn't think they were going to kill her. Um, you know, it, it was really, I, I liked it that it was dark film, it was like a darker film, I really enjoyed the, the, um, I really enjoyed, like, the films have they become a lot more darker, um, like, the superhero films, I really like that, for example, like, Batman seems to set the trend for it, 
Batman, the new Batman films, like, think about the old, old Batman films. They were really kind of cartoony, really kind of not really that dark. They were really kind of more like nostalgic in a way, you know, like Joker was really kind of like funny. Like you'd bring out a massive gun and shoot Spider-Man and Spider-Man shoot, shoot, um, freaking, uh, shoot freaking uh, Batman from like the plane. I think it was, he was in a plane and he shot him, um, or a jet or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then, for example, Man of Steel was really kind of like quite um, cartoony. He'd always win. He'd, nothing really happens. He always overcame everything. Um, so it wasn't really like you didn't really relate in a way, or really you, di you didn't invest emotionally into, into the character, right? But now the new kind of superhero films are, are, are really dark. Really, like people die. People close to the superhero die. People like you know he he feels more like human. He feels more like you know. Like, this could happen in real life, like somebody could, you know, maybe get bit by a spider and become like really, you know, fucking kind of spider powers or something like that. But, um, you know, for example, the new Man of Steel film, really dark film as well, like a lot of people died there. It was really kind of like, you know, Superman lost other people, he, there was a lot of emotion in the film, like he, was, he had to kill his own kind of race in a way, you know. Um, so I really like how how the um, films are changing. You know, they're they're almost like being from mature. You just oh, he's he's down and out for the count. He's down and out for the count. He's gone. He just got shot. The police. There is a lot of police around here. Why is there so many police here? Look at these guys just shooting Scorpio up in here. That's not very nice. You freaking assholes. Get over here, douche. You too, fat bastard. Freaking is this a donut shop? I don't think so. You too. There you go. Get tracked. Um, you know, I, let me let me know what you guys think. I, I really enjoy like the more mature kind of superhero films, or uh, you know, where they're a lot more darker, a lot more like you know, people die. They do obviously kind of you know keep it so the superhero does win in the end, you know, but like not without consequences or, or loss and stuff like that, which is really really cool. I do like films like that. Like Batman was really kind of like dark and intense and you know that 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 makes it i think a lot more better definitely when you know it's not all happy days you know there's something evil happening superman comes beats the shit out of him end off you know it it's a lot more violent in a way or a lot more um tragic maybe i don't know i, I think you know what i mean guys cuz i i definitely noticed it in the, the newer films in the um you know kind of like um superhero films that it, it's a lot more kind of that type tone for the film which is really nice i really like it I, I i do hope they keep it like that and they don't make it everything so fucking kid friendly kids piss me off you know kids shouldn't be able to watch films and, and ruin everything for everybody if i can make everything kid worthy fuck the kids yo you know for example just top of my mind wrestling wwe wrestling for example you know attitude ever that was freaking crazy. There was, you know, crazy blood matches. It was all epic. It was all, like, freaking two dudes, like, swearing. And they were going to freaking rip each other apart now. You know, with all the kiddies, it's like PG. Um, and it's boring as fuck. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my rant. I don't know how we got into wrestling. But, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you next video, guys. Thanks for watching. And, uh, bye.